What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this next video in our Beyond Light prep series, we're going to focus on another key material, that being the enhancement core. We've already covered mod components, but you can make the case that enhancement cores are even more important because you need a bunch of these to masterwork your weapons and your armor. So we're going to look at all the different ways that you can get enhancement cores, and I hope this video is helpful as you guys get ready for Beyond Light. Now, just like with mod components, you can now get a bunch of bounties that will give you enhancement cores. So just like with Banshee, you can get the daily bounty from him. There's four of those every single day. And each of those are easy to get done and will give you one enhancement core. So if you buy all four from him, you'll get four enhancement cores per day. Just make sure you take the time to go to the tower at the very beginning of your play session, grab all those bounties, and then you can go about your business and do whatever you want to do and work on your bow kills or your sniper kills, whatever the case may be. These are really easy to get done and they're pretty much guaranteed for every single day. Banshee's not the only one that has bounties that will give you enhancement cores. The resident vendor over in the Tangled Shore, the spider, he also has bounties, but they're a bit more difficult and different than the Banshee ones are. You'll notice here that I have two bounties that involve wanted enemies on Nessus. Each of these, when I get them done, will give me some XP, some Glimmer, and an Enhancement Core. Now these are nice to have. They're not really as useful in my opinion. They're not as easy to get done, number one, as the Banshee bounties are. And unlike these, which you can buy for Glimmer, these bounties from Spider, they cost Ghost Fragments. And you get Ghost Fragments by completing public events and things of that nature on the Tangled Shore. And I only have 14 left. I can't see them off the top of my head. I know 20 is the maximum. Here they are, the Ghost Fragments. To buy these Spider Bounties, you have to use Ghost Fragments. So I'd recommend, I prioritize the Banshee ones because they only cost Glimmer and they're much easier to get done. But you can use Spider as a last resource when it comes to Bounties to get those Wanted Bounties and you just get a couple extra Enhancement Cores for your troubles. But Banshee will be the number one bounty vendor when it comes to getting enhancement cores. But that's not gonna be enough because honestly it takes a lot of these to master work a weapon. And just to demonstrate that, we're gonna take a look here at this grenade launcher I have. It's not the best Swarm of the Raven, but we're gonna go ahead and master work it anyway because the power cap is 1360 and because it does have spike nades on it. We're gonna go ahead here and master work it. It has a blast radius. And just for science, we're gonna see how much master work or how much enhancement cores it takes to master work it. So right now we've used one, we've used two enhancement cores, now we've used four, let's keep going, six, nine, twelve, and the very final one costs five. So it has taken us 17 enhancement cores just to masterwork one weapon. Now we have the kill tracker, which is awesome, that's nice, but even better, we now generate orbs on multi-kills, and that's really important. It's gonna help me get my super, it's gonna help my teammates, and if you're going for different mod builds that involve Charger Light, you're gonna be able to get that much easier with a Masterwork weapon. So it really is beneficial to Masterwork, but it does demonstrate how many cores it takes to do that. The same thing applies here to your armor. With your armor pieces, it more or less helps you get additional energy slots. And it's not quite as expensive as it is for the weapons, but even still, if I go to go ahead here and start adding energy, it's going to take me one enhancement core. Now we're up to three, and we've gotten now to prism. So basically, to get up to seven energy, it takes you three enhancement cores. So not nearly as expensive as weapons are, but still, you need cores for your armor pieces too. So that more or less demonstrates that if you're relying on your bounties from Banshee, or if you're relying on your bounties from Spider it's gonna take you over four days of just doing the Banshee bounties to get enough materials to master work one weapon. That's not even including armor pieces. So what are some other ways of getting this really difficult and much needed resource? Well, there is a material that you may have in your inventory that you have kind of not looked at or not used, and that is the finest matter weave. Now, this consumable, every now and again, when you break down a legendary piece of gear, you may get one of these. Now, these are a guaranteed enhancement core. So essentially, however many of these you have, you have that many enhancement cores. You just have to use these and get them. 
So right now I have 183 Finest Matter Weaves. These are, it's basically 183 Enhancement Cores. Whenever I use one of these, and you can only use one at a time, and that's one of the major downsides to this. Whenever you use one of these, when you defeat a powerful enemy, it says bosses, but really it's a powerful enemy, there's a chance that they'll drop a legendary engram, and when you run over it, it gives you an enhancement core. Now, I found that to use these the fastest, you want to go into Gambit, but like I said, you can only use one at a time. Gambit Prime is great because of all the powerful enemies there, Escalation Protocol as well. It takes forever to use these though, because you can only use one at a time. And if you're on PlayStation or Xbox, the load times are abysmal. So I'll be honest, I wish you could just take these and take them to the tower, the vendor, take them to the spider and just turn them in directly. But as it stands right now, you have to use them one at a time. It's a very grueling process. But if you're running low on enhancement cores, make sure you use up all of your finest matter weaves. That will help bump this number up just a little bit. I may even do a live stream one day and just see how long it takes to use all these. But this will be a a nice way of getting some additional cores for more or less for free. So we've covered bounties, we've covered finest matter weaves. We know that sometimes when you break down gear, you do get enhancement cores back. So let's take a look here at my character again. We know it cost me 17 cores to masterwork. If I break down this outrageous fortune, that gave me back seven. So I got back seven of the 17 I spent. Check your vault. Maybe you have some old gear from back in year one or year two that you don't use anymore. Feel free to break that down and recoup back some of your cost. For your armor pieces, if you break that down, you will get back some of the gear. So let's take a look right now. I have these Red Moon Phantom Grips. They're not the best. So I'm going to go ahead and break these down. They're not fully masterwork, but if I break this down, I do get back some prisms. I get back six cores. So that's another way of recouping back some of my investment. Break down old and unnecessary gear because you'll be replacing it anyway. So one of our, we covered bounties. Finest batteries, breaking down old and unnecessary gear. There's one last thing I want to focus on, and that is the planets that are going away. So right now I'm here on Io, and if you turn in your planetary materials, in the case of Io, I have a bunch of the phase glass needles. I'm going to go ahead and turn these in. The same thing applies for Mercury with Brother Vance, with Titan, and all those, all those planets that are basically being impacted by the Arrivals event. You can turn in the materials here. Now, I wouldn't recommend turning in everything. It might be worthwhile to keep just a little bit on your character, so maybe a couple hundred. You can always buy materials sometimes too from Spider for the legendary shards, and that way you can get a bunch of your materials back and actually do a farm this way as well. It's kind of the old school enhancement core farm. But our goal right now is we're trying to turn this in and we're trying to get gear that is masterwork. And more specifically, we want to get a weapon that is masterwork because when we break that down, we'll get some cores from it. This used to be the old school enhancement, car, uh, enhancement core farm, and I'm trying now to get some. You'll notice here that the drop rate is relatively low, but let's be honest, these plants are going away. The materials may or may not be going away, but honestly, if you're running low on enhancing cores, this is one last ditch effort you can use to try to get that number up just a bit more. Again, we have to get a masterwork piece though, and that's going to be the challenge right now. So I'm going ahead, I'm just turning on all these. It's a pretty low chance. It may We may not get any from this, but if you have a bunch of these materials on your character, you may have never done this before. You probably have a bunch saved up. You can go ahead and do this safely and get some enhancement cores that way. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn these last little bit in, and maybe, just maybe, we'll get one piece. Weapons give you two enhancement cores, and armor gives you one. So here we go. We got one weapon so far. And we're going to go ahead and break that down. You notice I got a bunch of these that were not masterworked. So I'll break these down. And as you can see, it doesn't give me doesn't give me back anything when it comes to enhancement cores. But this one, this one is masterworked. It's an old school year one version, so you don't really care about it. If we break it down, we got back one enhancement core. Sometimes it'll give you two for weapons. Armor is only ever one. So this is one thing you can do to get some additional cores for your Beyond Light prep. So like I said, I hope this was helpful, guys. If it was, hit the like button, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. The next video we're going to cover is Enhancement Prisms, and then maybe we'll cover Ascendant Shards for our last material prep guide. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Best of luck in getting ready for Beyond Light, and have fun in Festival on Tuesday. See you guys.